All right, coordinate plane dilation example A shows us a figure. It's outlined here in blue. Quadrilateral EFGH. Looks sort of rectangular, it's only twisted, yeah? So it's right here in blue, and I'll kind of go over it real quick with orange too so you can make sure we're looking at the right thing, yeah? And each of those vertices I went ahead and labeled. What it asks us to do is dilate that figure with a scale factor of 1.5. So we need to take each of the coordinates, again, assuming that our center is the origin right here, and then multiply each of the coordinates of each point by 1.5. So for E prime, or our new E location, we'd have negative 4 times 1 and a half and negative 2 times 1 and a half. So we'd end up with negative 6, negative 3. So our new coordinate that represents E then goes back 6 and down 3 and ends up right here at this vertice on the red uh, quadrilateral. And this point right here then is E prime. Then for F prime, we go from 1, 4 to 1.5. 6, so 1.5 times each of those. So f prime ends up right up here at our top vertice, f prime. And then you can see during the multiplication out that g prime ends up over here, of course, and h prime down here. Now, it's important to recognize that the new figure is exactly the same shape, it's just a different size. So it's a similar figure. All these angles at the corners would be the same as the original figure. It's just the size of the figure that changes because we're zooming it in or zooming it out, depending on any point of view, from that center, that center point. All right, example B. Example B says determine the coordinates of triangle ABC and triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, and then find the scale factor. So the first thing we need to do is find out what these coordinates are of these three vertices. So for our little triangle, A, B, C, A would be at 2, 1, B would be at 5, 1, and C is at 3, 6. And then for A prime, B prime, C prime, we have A is 6, 3, so A prime, 6, 3, B prime is 15, 3, and C prime is at 9, 18. So there's the coordinates. That's that first part, determine the coordinates. And then it says to find the scale factor. So what we need to do is figure out what it takes to convert one of the original points, say C here, to C prime. What do we have to multiply each of C's coordinates by to make them equal to C prime coordinates? Well, our first coordinate was a 3, and to get a 9 from a 3, we've got to multiply by 3. 3 times 3 is 9, of course. So that scale factor is a 3. 6 times 3 would be 18, so that still fits. So it looks like our scale factor is 18. Oops, I did that. <laughs> 6 times 18. Sorry about that. 6 times 3. There we go. Is 18. Good. And then if we just check up here with point A, just for verification, we go from 2 to 6. Yep, that's 3. And 1 to 3. Yep, that's obviously a factor of 3 also. So our scale factor, or our K, is 3. All right. And then, for example, C. Show that dilations per preserve shape by using the distance formula. Find the lengths of the sides of both triangles in example B. So here are our triangles, again, from example B. I just give us a really small version of that picture. And what we're doing is finding the lengths of each of the sides. So for side AB here, we go from 2, 1 to 5, 1. So we're going straight across from 2 to 5. Well, that's obviously three units, 1, 2, 3. And we can see that running it through the distance formula, 2 minus 5 squared plus 1 minus 1, because there's no y change there at all, squared, gives us 9, and then we take the square root of that, we get 3. So AB is 3 in the original figure, and in the second figure, A prime, B prime, runs from 6 to 15, so straight across, that means we're crossing 9 squares, and we can see running it through the distance formula, 6 minus 15 is 9, squared would be 81, 
plus 3 minus 3 squared, that's just 0 squared. So we have square root of 81, which is 9. So we can see that this length here is exactly 3 times this length here. And if we follow through on the math on the other two sides, you'll find that you'll discover that the square root of 26 here is 3 square roots of 26 here, so obviously 3 times as long. And then the final side is 29, square root of 29, and 3 squared of 29. So yes, obviously that does that does compute. The bigger, fi bigger figure has lines that are exactly 3 times as long as the original figure.